Privyet Druzi, Wes O'Donnell here, veteran of the U.S. Army and the U.S. Air Force, and global security analyst at Eyes Only on Substack. Shotguns are quickly becoming the low-tech solution of choice among Ukrainian soldiers to shoot down Russian drones. When I was in the infantry, shotguns were reserved for the door kickers, or the breachers, and used only in urban terrain because of their short range. When you want to do as much indiscriminate damage as possible in a small enclosed space, nothing beats the widespread of pellets. Of course, we only took shotguns when we knew that civilians weren't present. Now, because of widespread consumer drone use on the battlefield, shotguns are making a roaring comeback and have found a new purpose as a low-tech counter to FPV drones. But you might be surprised to learn that shotguns were among the very first firearms on the planet. Before rifling was invented around 1500 in Europe, all guns were smoothbore, which means they were all technically shotguns. You could dump whatever you want down an unrifled barrel, including pellets of all sizes, nails, chipped animal bone, and shoot anything from small birds to big game. Some of the earliest combat shotguns were designed for shipboard use called hail shot guns. These were made in the 1500s and had rectangular bores that fired a load of cubed shaped iron dice, which scattered upon firing at close range to repel boarders. But they are also great for shooting onto crowded decks. By the time of the Revolutionary War in the Americas, George Washington owned several fowling pieces, essentially shotguns designed for hunting birds on the fly. Until around 1776, the term shotgun wasn't widely used. The first documented use of the term was when James Fenimore Cooper mentioned a shotgun in the publication Frontier Language of the West. By World War I, they took on the name of the trench gun and proved invaluable in the close quarters and confined spaces found in trenches across France. They would continue to be refined for jungle use in Southeast Asia in both the Pacific Theater in World War II and the Vietnam War. And by the time we catch up to the door kickers in the global war on terror, my generation, several U.S. military branches were, and still are, using shotguns in their everyday jobs in the Army, the Coast Guard, and the Navy. Actually, the Coast Guard is an interesting use case, as we don't often talk about the Coasties at eyes only. They are the Department of Homeland Security, after all, not the Department of Defense. But the Coast Guard carries shotguns for VIP security, cruise ship security, and drug runner pursuit. Ukrainian drone combat was so effective in 2023 that it was Russia that first identified the need for shotguns on the battlefield. A little more than a year ago, a Russian military blogger advised that to deal with an upcoming avalanche of Ukrainian FPV drones, shotguns were necessary. Anecdotally, through Russian social media, I can tell you that at least some Russian units have been issued the Verper 12, a multi-purpose semi-automatic detachable magazine shotgun produced by Molet Oruji Limited. Of course, I don't have a clear picture on precisely how many shotguns have been distributed among Russian troops in Ukraine, but I can tell you that the Russian military is still plagued by severe logistical challenges. This means that even if they get their hands on the semi-automatic shotguns, ammo could be in short supply. Indeed, there are stories that popular shotgun ammo manufacturers in Russia were suffering from 12-gauge ammo production shortages. The recent prevalence of Russian turtle tanks and other vehicles with homemade drone protection tells me that Russia has not fielded anti-drone tech, including shotguns, in large numbers. On the Ukrainian side, the accounting is much clearer. 4,000 Escort BTS-12 shotguns from Turkish company Hatsen for drone defense have been delivered. The BTS-12 is a bullpup design. The magazine is behind the lower receiver. Another semi-auto, military-style weapon that has a reputation in the military world as a low-cost but reliable shotgun. Typically, three primary types of shot can get shot out of a shotgun. Bird shot, which has hundreds of small steel pellets, Buckshot, which consists of dozens of round steel pellets, and slugs, which are just single large projectiles. Interestingly, there is special anti-drone shotgun ammunition with shot connected with a Kevlar tether like a bolus. But this does not seem to have been fielded yet in Ukraine that we can tell. 
By now, you can certainly see how if a bird shot spread can consistently take down birds, it should knock down a consumer drone with similar ease. But the big takeaway here is that the Ukrainians no longer need to rely solely on expensive and difficult to maintain electronic counter drone solutions. Besides, drone jammers don't always work as advertised. There are plenty of electronic jammers on both sides, but drone builders keep changing their operating frequencies and using jam resistant radios. So the jammers that worked last week may not work this week, leaving troops on the ground exposed. At the very least, a shotgun is a good squad backup weapon when the jammers stop working or the batteries die. But what are the downsides? First, shotguns have a very limited range, and even the best bird shot, uh, you're looking at 50 yards at most, yet drones can fly higher than that. But the main challenge will be assigning a dedicated squad member whose only job is to constantly scan the sky looking for drone threats. Although two-man teams would be ideal, so a single soldier isn't constantly stumbling over terrain as they frequently look up, it's actually an interesting problem for traditional infantrymen. In the past, we really only had to worry about two physical dimensions, left-right and forward-back. To add in a third physical dimension, up-down, adds a level of complexity to infantry maneuver that will need to be trained and solved for. So what was originally the oldest firearm on the planet, the humble shotgun, is now combating the newest technological threat on the battlefield. This speaks directly to the shotgun's utility across the ages. And now Ukraine is implementing this low-tech mechanical solution, which might end up being the best solution to the growing drone threat. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. Slava Ukraini.